Hey everyone, welcome back to Erin Limitless. Uh, today I'm doing a new unboxing of the, let me get their name right, it's the Louis Vuitton Monogram Pacific Blue uh, wallet for men, or anybody I guess. So I actually am getting another one, I'm getting a black, I forget what the name of it is, but it's kind of like just a standard, goes with everything, black um, Louis Vuitton uh, wallet. Uh, but that one is delayed. So I really also wanted this other kind of, um, I don't know what you want to call it, like a, I forget it's on their site, it's almost like a graffiti type one where the Louis Vuitton is a little bit darker blue of a wallet, but the Louis Vuitton symbols are all like kind of like faded and kind of like graffiti-ish. I really like that style. I wasn't really sure on the blue because I do have a blue wallet already, but I just wanted to try, try something different. I might return it, but I think I'm probably gonna keep it because I still like the blue wallet, but I think I want to get a black one too, or maybe the dark gray LV wallet because that one has like white LVs all over it. But yeah, so just some basic information. Sorry about the noise from the road. Motorcycles have been going around all day. If you want this wallet, you can get it. I've noticed it's been at a Louis Vuitton site, but a lot of times it's either out of stock or I think they're like kind of getting close to discontinuing it or they have a different versions of them coming out. It seems like they update or are out of different wallets and come and go all the time. Um, but just from what I could find from other websites, um, but um, this was the other one I really want. It's sold out everywhere and the only place you can really find is like random sites, but they're selling them for like a thousand dollars each. But I really like the look of that style. But this one kind of is more, you know, basic, doesn't really stand out as much. So there is that, but obviously depend where you're getting your stuff um, from. Mine came from the post office, depending on if you're buying yours in Europe or whatnot, you know, you might get yours from DHL or whatever the big mail companies are there. Maybe even UPS or FedEx possibly. But um, yeah, I mean, for luckily for this one, they did require a signature. So just, you know, disclaimer for that. So you will want to be home or in a building here like ours that has a doorman that can also sign for all the packages. And they also in our building have a specialty thing where for like the post office can, I'm not sure about UPS and FedEx, but they can actually unlock and put these into specialty lock boxes that the doorman helps them with and they put those in those boxes and then they take that key for that lock box only and put it in our mail room box that only we get access to because there's little flaps on our mail room boxes or not mail room but the you know for your regular like letter mail so it's more secure that way and it's signed for and we get a notification so i will say that so you don't have to really be worrying about it. i'm gonna venture guess just because this was like six 73 or something like that after taxes and shipping that you know you're gonna require a signature so you don't have to worry about it getting stolen also before i get to this um for all of you that wanted to see another coach bags um i'm going to be doing a what's in my bag video soon so make sure to check that out it'll probably be the next video after this um, so i just wanted to let you guys know that and in addition to louis vuitton i'm going to be buying the one black backpack that's kind of european style they have similar bags too in Coach and uh, other, I think Gucci was one of them. But I'm going to be doing the LV bag of that one because I really like the faded gray graffiti type look of it. So I want to get that. But um, yeah, let's get to it. So it comes in like your traditional Louis Vuitton box, everything. It's been hit or miss with some of the stuff I've gotten where sometimes the box might be a little dented or whatnot. But I'm assuming it's probably just in manufacturing. But this one actually seems to be in pretty good condition. So you get your little paperwork, your little card thing, um, a little price and sticker, because I noticed they don't put the price and stickers right on the things. Is that for you guys too, or does it just seem like whoever packs it does it? But um, so yeah, just normal slide out box and stuff. I had a little blue bow on it. Miss Blue wants to help out. Little dust case protector, just says Louis Vuitton on it. And, and this is the wallet. I like it. I like it more than I thought. It's darker in person. So I will say I do like that. It's just a standard fold one. Um, oh, it's a sticker inside. Yeah, it's different than a lot of the wallets I have. I've never had the ones that like this. I usually have like the flap inside that you can put like your license in or whatnot. But um, yeah, so this one I would say you could easily hold like your ID and maybe like your like really good, like if you have like an American Express or like one of your main cards that you would use, your bank card, debit card, and then a handful of credit cards and or store cards on there, even though a lot of my stuff's in a wallet or Apple Pay now, but um, I still like carrying a wallet around. You have double 
flaps on the inside. Louis Vuitton Paris in there. I will have partially uh, faded out for any like personal information like cereals and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, definitely smells strong though. I always forget about that with leather because I'm not a huge leather fan. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty wallet though. For you guys, it looks like, at least on my screen, that it's coming out pretty, um, you know, blue. But on their website, it just looks a lot lighter blue. Like almost like a, I don't know, like a royal blue. This almost seems kind of like navy. This blue is a little bit different. But um, yeah, so I like it. So with a lot of these that are discontinuing or, you know, are kind of on their end of their life, I feel like you're gonna have a harder time getting them for like a normal $5.99, $6.99 price that a lot of these are. That other blue one I showed you was actually um, going to be, I think, $800. The black one I bought, I think, was $6.99 because that's like their, one of their, like, you know, their really like staples, most popular one. But um, yeah, I want to buy that Louis Vuitton bag, but I've been kind of waiting to pull the trigger because last I checked, I can't remember if it was on the European side or the American side, but I'm pretty sure it was like $3,700. And it's kind of one of those things where it's like, I already have like 15 backpacks and even more weekender bags and travel bags. So it was kind of like, I don't really need it, but I really do want it. It's been kind of on my eye for a while. Might do that for my next big purchase. But yeah, we'll see. I might also get a weekender bag just to kind of have it match. Uh, yeah, so that is the review of the Pacific Blue, as they called it, Louis Vuitton um, Standard Fold Wallet. Um, if you guys like these kind of videos, uh, let me know. Another one will be coming out once I get the black one. It was delayed. Um, and that's pretty much it. I want to say hello to Miss Blue. Hey. hey, say hello. Stop being grumpy. Any other time, she always wants to be like right there. But, um,. Yeah, so that is pretty much going to be it, guys. Uh, if you want to see anything else, subscribe uh, and comment down below what other videos you want me to do. If you want to see, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to be releasing the what's in my backpack, which is, you know, my standard day-to-day -day bag when I'm doing stuff. Um, video will be coming out soon. Uh, if you want to know any other kind of standard things or any other kind of unboxings or things you want me to purchase and do, uh, let me know. But I think that's pretty much going to be it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And if you haven't already, again, comment and subscribe. I would appreciate it. Give it a thumbs up for this. This helps my channel grow and helps the algorithm. And I think that's pretty much it. I'm going to run some errands now. It's almost 90 today. It's really hot, but thankfully, you know, I've been inside all day, so it's, it hasn't been bad at all. But yeah, so I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching Aaron Limitless, and I'll catch you next time.